What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing some unboxings. We got a couple of guitars in, we got some parts that were sent in from somebody that are really cool and unique that I've never seen before. I'll show you guys all that coming up right now. All right, now let's get into some of this unboxing. I got two full-size guitar boxes from customers. We have this smaller box that's got a body in it from a customer, plus some extra presents they sent in. And then one more box here that was sent in by Taryn. Also, we got another package from Taryn here that has something really cool in it that I'm going to show you guys a part that she sent in because she saw I was working on a certain guitar and doing a certain mod to it that needs a certain part and it's a certain thing that you need for this certain task. So, And then there's also a guitar that she sent in that you may have seen on Sunday Morning Shred, but it is a trade-in guitar and it's really cool. So let's get into these boxes and see what this stuff is. We'll start here with Raymond's box. So this one's going to satisfy some of you guys because I get asked all the time when are you going to do a PRS, when are you going to do BC Rich, when are you going to do an acoustic, when are you going to do this, when are you going to do that? Well, let's check a couple things off the list. We're doing a BC Rich Warlock bass. So we're going to be refinishing this thing I gotta check the paperwork to see exactly what it's getting, but it's got an old finish on it. It definitely needs to be refinished. Has select by EMG, their lower line pickups. Right now it's got gold hardware on it. I'm not sure what the customer's exact plans on are for this thing. I gotta double check, like I said, my notes for it, but he's gonna be searching for a new neck for it. And we're gonna match it up with the sick new BC Rich neck. So pretty sweet guitar. Got a Warlock, ladies and gentlemen. That's so cool. Haven't done a Warlock yet. Haven't done a BC Rich, so it's about time. <laughs> I filled out a lot of estimates for them. I've never owned one either, actually. Really cool. All right, this is another box from Raymond here who sent the BC Rich in. This is some stuff he said he's just sending along extra just to donate to the channel and give to me, so... Okay, we got some stuff here. We got some parts for the BC Rich. So we got the neck plate, the neck screws. That's sweet. Oh, we got a vintage overdrive tube distortion. Behringer. Might actually give this thing away. If anybody here on the channel needs a vintage tube overdrive, we'll figure something out for this. I'm guessing this is like a tube screamer kind of clone or something with that green and the fact that it's like vintage or whatever. So it's also the TO800. Cool. Oh, what is this? This thing looks interesting and cool and different. We have like a power supply of some sort. Is that what this is? Oh no, this is like a... Whoa, what is this? This is sick. Nano Legacy Siva Boogie. I don't know what this is, but I mean, it looks awesome. It's a little amplifier. Can actually go to a, a cab. I'm gonna have to plug this into the Marshall. Marshall cab and test this thing out. This thing is pretty cool. Little on off, how adorable is that on off switch? Wow, this thing looks super dope. Raymond, I gotta check this out. This is really cool, man. That I probably won't give away, but we shall see. Maybe I will. Who knows? Maybe between the two of those together, you can get some killer tones. This one's already open. I opened it a little while ago, but it's still interesting. It's I didn't show it on the channel here, so... We got a Tiger Stripe kit, so I'm gonna be doing a really cool guitar for Taryn. Get the camera over here. So I'll be striping up a guitar that she's going to have sent in. We got a tiger stripe kit. Wow, this is cool. We got a skull and crossbones there. And then we got a bunch of parts here. We got a Charvel neck plate and some screws and knobs and noiseless springs and, and things. Over here we have a. Goto 
1996 T, right? Is that what this is? Yeah. So this will be for, uh, does it have pickups in here too? So that's guitar pickups inside there in another box. Then we got some Kramer sticker and some Kramer parts. Another set of Kramer parts. We got some clear acrylic sheets here. One clear thick sheet of a clear acrylic. We got some vinyl sealer. I, I believe this is a wood sealer. Some guitar strings. And also in this box, which I already took out, was this Charvel neck. So check it out. It's the pointy style neck or pointy style headstock. It's a maple neck, very dirty, so I'm going to have to resand it all, get it all refreshed looking. 2012 stamp on it. Rosewood fretboard, and the frets are very small. Might get refretted by me. But this is do part of the trade-in. This is going to be something that I'm going to keep. Her guitar is custom-made, and it's still ha it hasn't arrived yet, but she's going to be sending in a body and neck. And then this is the Charvel body. How awesome is this thing? I love star guitars. I've wanted one for years. I actually bought one. Ordered it from Japan and it was really expensive. It's an Edwards. So I'm going to be selling on that one. If anybody's interested in an Edwards made in Japan in the ESP Workshop Star, it's black. Two humbuckers and a Floyd Rose. It's an awesome guitar, but honestly, I don't really play it too often. And I want to add a Charvel to the collection. I don't necessarily need to have two Star guitars. So this is the one I'm probably going to keep. Give it some really cool custom paint. And yeah, add that one to the collection. Here we have another envelope from uh, from Taryn, so let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, and check this out. I just opened this up from that envelope. This is something very interesting. Let's focus, camera. It's a shim that goes onto the headstock of a Kramer Beretta so that you can put a Floyd Rose nut that would normally hang off towards the headstock and it'd be kind of airborne. This will fill in that gap. Apparently it's 3D printed and he makes them for all different brands. So it slides right under there and keeps the Floyd Rose locking nut in place when you convert a guitar from a standard nut to a locking nut. So really cool. I'm actually going to be doing uh, that for a customer pretty soon. She's already done it in the past, so she had two of them. Saw my video saying where I was going to do one, and she said, Oh, let me send you this cool thing. So really cool. Thanks, Taryn. Okay, let's pop this one open. This one just said it's from, is this the one that just said Guitar Center on it? Yeah, so this is, I think, a box somebody got... I'm not exactly sure what this is. <laughs> it might be another Jackson from Sean. I know we got Sean who sent in the seven string Rhodes a couple weeks ago. He said he was sending in another Rhodes. Some packing material coming in handy today because I got a Dean Flying V I'm going to be packing up tomorrow. So I've actually ran through almost all my packing material. I'm going to actually have to buy some for the first time in years because I've shipped back a bunch of customer guitars. I keep all my packing material. I don't know what happened, but maybe I just use a lot more than the customers use when they send it in because I've only sent out half of the guitars I've received in, you know, and I still got a ton of them here and somehow I don't have any more packing stuff, so. We got kind of a soft hard shell case, soft, yeah. Wow, look at this thing. This thing is trippy. So RR, this is a six string, okay. His other one he sent in is a seven string. So this is an Indonesian made, maybe it's RR24X. Oh, look, it's got a couple scalloped frets. It's a 24 fret, pink shark fin inlays. What a trippy looking guitar. Very trippy looking. The pink bevels look trippy on it. Wow, cool. Active Jackson pickups. It's got a Goto. Floyd, uh, you know, 1996, like the one that Taryn had sent, same, same bridge in this guitar. The last 22 to 24, last three frets are scalloped. Got the reverse headstock on it. Cool guitar. This is a new thing I've been doing when I unbox guitars. I fill out these guitar unboxing forms that I made. Basically just tell you the guitar, date received, if the case is included, what the case looks like, and then other items that are in the case or other items that were included with it. And 
And then after I write down what's in the case and what accessories and things it came with, I add a little note that says what guitar went with this case, and I put that in the case. So if there's ever a question, I can open the case and it tells me that. And then I take a piece of yellow tape or whatever, you know, something an inch and a half to two inches wide. And then I'll write down what guitar goes with this case on the outside. So it's like a quick reference. Normally I wrap that around the handle, but you need to open this case to get to the handle. So in case I need to open it again, we'll just wrap it around this strap here that's attached to the handle. Kind of like it's getting into a concert and it needs to uh, get its wristband on. All right, and this one can go out into the storage area for all the cases. We got one more box here, it looks like, right? This one's from David, who I was just talking to over the last two weeks about his custom guitar. Feels like he's got a hard shell case in this one. Really cool guitar. It's an Epiphone, it's like an Explorer. But it's got this crazy cutout here, so kind of Batman-like, kind of explorer -y. It's got the EMG 8185 combo in it, Epiphone branded tuners. Is this made in Korea? It doesn't say the country of origin. Made in Korea. Quality. It's actually black sparkle, which is strange, but we got a really cool burst paint job going on this. I think it's called like nightshade or something it's really cool check that out interesting guitar right at first i thought it was an explorer because it was kind of wrapped up with some extra foam and stuff around it and i was like what am i looking at here i don't remember anybody saying they were going to send in an explorer and then i saw this epiphone logo and went oh yeah 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 yeah. i totally remember this guitar now really cool this thing is going to be cool we have like a whole plan for it of course and it's going to be super custom super cool and you guys shall see this on Trash to Thrash. Right now it's string through, volume and tone, three-way switch. That classic Explorer headstock, so really cool. Let's get the uh, case tagged and all that stuff and then close this video out. This one didn't really come with any other external stuff, so I'm not going to fill out a sheet because it was just the guitar. And we got a video of me opening it, so that's documented pretty well. Alright guys, that's going to do it for us here today. We unboxed a couple guitars. We got a doll painted. Actually, I just got an emergency order to spray some matte on the body of a doll, so that, I'm going to go do that real quick too. Um, got a couple videos edited for you guys and a bunch of them shot. I actually recorded like three videos, four videos today or something like that. Got reels coming your way, all kinds of stuff. So August is going to be super content heavy. I got a crazy little calendar. I wish I had it out here. I'll throw it up on the screen and show you guys. I got like four or five things posting each day to all these different social media platforms. TikTok and Twitter, Facebook Watch. I'm starting to upload episodes there. Um, Patreon, I'm going to be more consistent with uploading patreon exclusive content of course we're going to have the vlogs here on this channel like this and sunday morning shred still and we'll see um i got a couple guitars ready for trash to thrash to start editing i want to put them into one episode and then i have a really cool accessory i custom painted a video game console to match one of the guitars that i recently painted it's really cool so i'm going to throw those two guitars together with that console in on an episode and then i got a couple more guitars where that are real near finishing so Maybe some of those will end up going in the next episodes of Trash to Thrash 2, but stay tuned. We got a ton going on over here. I appreciate you guys watching. Go sign up to the Patreon if you haven't. It's the number one way to help support Trash to Thrash, Guitar Guts, everything I do over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Rock on, my friends.